Never once have I ever felt so dragged out from starting something that actually was a good idea, and then I just never continued it from there. And I'm not sure why. Hello everyone, it is me, Jared Gaming here, and um, let's talk about something that I feel like is kind of something that everyone kind of kept up with, but that eventually it kind of dropped out. So I started the series called The Weapons Guides Video. The idea of that was mostly inspired by Captain Astronaut, who did his uh, how to use a certain Splatoon 2 weapon, and that series was supposed to kind of be what Captain Astronaut started, but for some reason I never continued it, but I'll, we gotta start from the beginning first, where it kind of came from. Technically a whole year later, or a whole year ago, back in like March of 2018, I started the, you know, the series, the, um, the Weapons Guide series with the Splattershot Pro, and after making that video, I felt really proud of it, and it was something that arisen within me, it was something that I felt like was mostly different from my other content that actually felt something fun to do, fun to try out, and I didn't know how much of a drought it could be, so I went to the .52 gal and the .96 gal as the next weapon to do the weapons guide and I finish that one same as usual everything's all normal and cool blah 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 then I was going to do the blaster but something motivated me or something kept me from going something stopped me something put me to a hole and I wasn't for sure what that was and it kept bugging me for like the next few months, like, oh my goodness, it's been like, who knows how long since I made the last one. And there's really a weapon that I need to work on. And I couldn't think of anything, even though I said it was going to be the blaster, but I, I just, I couldn't get my head through it. So then I was testing out the jet squelch and all that types of shenanigans, and I said, you know what, let's make a weapons guy video off of this weapon. I did that, but after making that video, it felt felt so dragged something about it just didn't feel right and i think in some way that's what kept me from stopping in a way again i'm not sure what that thing was but it's kind of weird again it's kind of weird to have this feeling where you start something that was actually good and actually kept something going and then just to stop midway not knowing why you stop so then, I tried my hardest to get to the Rapid Blaster Pro. I think it was also because it was during the time the Rapid Blaster Pro, or the Rapid Blaster Deco Pro, or however I need to pronounce that, came out. You know, Splash Wall, Ink Armor, and I was just like, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll try it off of this weapon. So I did. Yada, yada, yada. It, it was a, it was pretty, you know, it was pretty reasonable, but... I think, after that video, I think I understand, or I understood, why I stopped. I think from two main factors. One, those videos were during the time I wasn't even good at Splatoon 2 anyway. It was like during the time I was S+. Plus, so I didn't have a lot of knowledge of what to do, except for maybe the Splattershot Pro, but I digress. And I started realizing I just picked up a weapon with no knowledge of it whatsoever, and with little to no experience whatsoever. I mean, that's what it was like for the... Um, the Rapid Blaster Pro. I picked up the weapon, played with it for about like a week or two, and just assumed I knew everything. Which, of course, I didn't, but in a way I did. Just on the paper I did, but not really physically or, you know, actuality. So, from there I stopped. And again, I wasn't for sure what kept me from stopping. I wasn't for sure what made me stop. Maybe in some level, it could have been the fact that, you know, I had Gary's Mod animations to work on, even though that's also been put to a halt, but I'll probably go over it soon. Why? I don't guarantee it, but anyways, let's just keep on... Let's just be on topic. Rapid Blaster Pro Weapons Guide video. After publishing it, I stopped. I, for some reason, didn't want to move on. I think the next weapon I was going to do was the Blaster, or was a different weapon. I wasn't for sure what it was, but it was a weapon that I had some experience with and it was a weapon that I wanted to try out. But my point is, well, point number one, yeah, like I said, I have little to no experience with some of the weapons that I tried out. And no, point number two, the meta or the way, or the, the, the strategies that people have in the game keep frequently changing so much more quicker than I thought, or keep changing so frequently, it's honestly kind of hard to keep up with it. Because it's like, oh, you have this month for the Rapid Blaster Pro, like it was during the summertime of 2018 before the Octo expansion. Oh my goodness, 
Rapid Blaster Pro, Custom Blaster, my goodness, they are so good. And then, just last month, we were living in, uh, we were living in a time where the Kensa Splatter Shot Pro was considered the best weapon in the game. By the way, that was my favorite meta. <laughs> but, still, the meta keeps changing, everything about the game keeps changing, so it kind of gets more difficult to keep up with it. And especially for the fact that I kept on rambling about it, my main problem with all those is that I never had a script. And I actually had a Splattershot video that was kind of like the Weapons Guide video, except it was going to be the main start of the how I, myself, use the weapon. I actually have a lot of clips of that, but and I even wrote a script of it just to back me up, just in case. But I started it really awkwardly, and for some reason that just, that just made me stop. Like, for some strange reason. I have some of it edited, I had background music for it, I have, like, almost two minutes of it edited in my iMovie already, or my editing software, and I don't know why, I, I just didn't see it going anywhere, so I just stopped. I just felt like whatever I was going to do with it, I felt like it was going to end up being the same thing as what I was doing before, what I was doing a year ago, what I was doing a while ago, and then even then... The meta will just keep changing, everything will just keep changing. So why bother making a video about how to play with a weapon if people are going to figure it out in a different way? I mean, even though the video was supposed to be about how I play with the weapon, so it's personal preference to me, not to others, something about that just felt like it was going to fall into the exact same boat as every single video of a how to use this weapon, the Victionary, the Weapons Guide video, that SRB2 dude's lessons of playing with the weapon, Vasco Games' lessons. It just, everything just felt like it was going to be the same thing, and I just didn't want to keep on going. So, I ultimately stopped with only four of them, and it left me so dry to figure out. There was a series that I was going to start on my Splatoon 2 channel that would have been great, but never ended off actually going anywhere, regardless of the fact that it felt great to make a video like that. At least the first two videos. The next two videos just felt so dry, and just something about it just never felt right. I don't know why, and I'll probably never know why. Again, it could just be the fact that I was doing it off of weapons that I enjoyed, but I have little to no knowledge of whatsoever, especially the Rapid Blaster Pro. I mean, heck, I've been thinking about making a weapons guide video on the Explosher, the uh, all the Kensa weapons, all the Sheldon picks weapons. That, well, not Sheldon picks weapons because by that time it was kind of too late and I couldn't want to. I didn't want to keep going. It, I think it was by the time it was like January where I started realizing, yeah, these these videos don't have a future, no matter how hard I try, and. That's that's the tough part is figuring out you start a series, you think it's gonna go somewhere. To you it will, to others it will, but the more and the more you keep going, the more and the more you realize it really doesn't get you anywhere. It really doesn't. And that's that's personally my issue with it. Especially since Platoon 2 as a whole is kind of dying right now, which is also why I've been my gears, my animations are put to a halt, because I wasn't for sure whether if I want to keep on going with something that I couldn't guarantee anyone was going to watch. And then you have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is becoming a more popular thing and Two of, two of the videos I had of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate are actually the most popular on my channel. So I was was wondering whether if I just, you know, keep on going. So that's personally my reasons of why I, um, I can't keep on going with the Splatoon 2 Weapons Guide videos. I mean, maybe I will. Maybe I'll somehow, like, post another one regardless of the fact that I can't. But, um, I, I don't know. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes from now. Especially with all the new weapons that came out, which I got a lot of catching up to do, if I keep on going, which I don't think I will, to be honest. Even though my goal was to try out every single weapon in the game, it's just, it's something that can't, that kind of seems impossible. Even though it is possible, even though you can, it, it just takes a lot of courage, takes a lot of perseverance, takes a lot of bravery to try something that no one and I mean no one will dare to try, and that is to be good with every single weapon, to have knowledge of every single weapon, and to just be overall great at the game. And, again, the more that I keep doing these, the more that I realize that I don't think I have the capability of doing that when I want. It's mostly the others that can. 
Especially if you're like me who's trying to do some Gary's Mod animations on the other hand, even though, again, I've put to a halt on that because I wasn't for sure if the Splatoon Gmod community is alive or if it's dying, which I'm pretty sure it's dying by now, but it, it kind of just runs its way, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. <clears throat> Gary's Mod animations. Where are they going? Again. I don't know where they're going, I don't guarantee I'm going to get far with it. Again, with my uh, Two Enemies Part 2 of 4, I'm hoping to get that released before June, before summertime, but I don't guarantee I can keep that promise, and if I accidentally break the promise, then it's my fault. But if I can say anything, thank you very much for 5,000 subscribers, I'll see what I can get for you guys, maybe I'll get some kind of Gmod short for you guys, who knows, even though probably the other 4,000 people will not watch it. <laughs> and, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my ranting. If you did, give it a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If you would like some more of these rants for who knows why, even though I don't really do these often, I do these from the bottom of my heart. And honestly, what I think is really funny about this one is that this one in particular, I've never stuttered before. Or, I wouldn't say that. All the other rants I've done in the past, I had to do some kind of stuttering to where I have to edit in a way to make it look like I haven't, or I have, but like, it's sincere. This? I think I'm doing a relatively good job at explaining my reasonings of why I feel like, you know, this is this and that is that with the weapons guide videos. But again, maybe one day I'll come back to it. Maybe one day. But when you have other people who are being a little inconsistent with these weapon guides videos, including myself, that's when I'll, I'm not sure if I can keep on going. But that depends on you guys. Maybe maybe you guys could prove me wrong. Maybe you guys actually learned something from them. But that's the real question. Did you really learn something from them? Or did I had a or did somehow I have to drill it down your head to make it look like you learned something? Even though you've probably learned absolutely nothing from my weapons guide videos and just realized, oh, so this does this, even though I already knew that. That does that, even though I already know how to do that. And that's another thing. Why bother making a video about playing with a weapon that everyone could just know by their first impression or by their first week or by their first whatever? I just... That point too, I've never seen the reason to just keep on going. Even though again, again and again and again, I keep on saying it. Even though these are really fun to make, it just doesn't seem right to do it. Doesn't seem right to keep these going. Regardless of the fact that they don't really do anything for any of you guys, and even myself included. So, um, that's all I got. <laughs> Started rambling again, but whatever. Again, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care. God bless you all, everyone. I'll do what I can with you 5,000 subscribers, because thank you very much, and I'll see what I can do. Take care. God bless you guys.